Ladies and gentlemen, we'll uh, come to Morocco and to Agadir. So first, Happy New Year. Uh, we are in Agadir, so I will, give you, I, will, uh, I will give you some information depending on the city. Agadir is one Berber wood, which means collective storage, because in the past, the Berber people used Agadir to store, to garner everything has value. You can say it was like ex Berber bank. Agadir is always located in one fortified place, like the roof of the mountain and the Berber villages, you find them always in the bottom of the mountains. It's normal because it's the location where you can find some flat plants, parks, agriculture, or some springs for watering their lands. And inside the Agadir, you find lot of rooms. Each one is for one family of the village and use the rooms to store their money, their food, and in the case if there is any attack of the enemies, the people will go up to stay in the Agadir and they attack the enemies from the roof of the mountain. And that's why Agadir is always located in one fortified place like the peaks of the mountains. And if you search in all these European maps, the name of Agadir was Muskina or Luxima. The oldest map was in one from 1325. In that time, it was a small village and there were more than 500 people living in that village, so most of them were fishermen. And Agadir entered officially the historic charts in the beginning of 16th century, exactly in 1504. In that time, the Portuguese were living in the most of the Mediterranean or Atlantic or coastal area, including the location of Agadir. And in Agadir, the Portuguese, the beat one small town, the name of the town was Santa Cruz Caldoria, and it was exactly in the bottom of the mountain, and now there are traces of the ex-Portuguese city Santa Cruz Caldoria. Just four years after the construction of Santa Cruz, the Sadian dynasty they built the fortress which is located in the roof of the mountain to fight the Portuguese who were Santa Cruz and they captured about 700 Portuguese soldiers as uh, prisoners, including the governor of Portugal in Santa Cruz and his daughter Dona Misia. But now it's not only meant to say for us the history of the purpose of the Portuguese because it was not as great in the 19th century and the town was completely destroyed. The rest of Agadir just something which is located next to Hotel Marhaba, Sipasara, and uh, that, uh, that's uh, the rest of ex Agadir. And more than 95% like, of Agadir city was destroyed by the earthquake. And the new city of Agadir is located in the south or in the north of the old one. The separation between the two parts of Agadir because it's forbidden to be in the area shocked by the earthquake of 1965 cemetery. And also, the study proved that the site is not safe, that's why we moved the new city of Agadir to the south or to the north of the old one. After fearing it will be in the park, which is located in the north, and we call it Anza. Anza, it was like an industrial area. And uh, in the past, we found more factories, the most of the factories were fish factories. Uh, and now there's only five or six factories, you see, or you can see some of them over there in the corner. So they moved the most of the factories to the southeast of Agadir. So this part represents about 10% of Agadir city and the rest is located in the south of the old one, Agadir city now. It's one of the big cities which is located in the south of Morocco. It's more than 830,000 people live in Agadir and the two prefecture. And uh, about the main source of Agadir, the first is the agriculture because Agadir is located in the southwestern part of Morocco. When you go to the east or to the south of Agadir, we see a lot of greenhouses or all farms. The area is very known by production of many kinds of vegetables or fruits, mostly the tomato or oranges. And more than 71% is for the export. The second main source is the tourism because Agadir is ranked as the second destination uh, or touristic destination after Marrakech. The third main uh, source is the fishing because Agadir is one big harbor and the harbor of Agadir is the third biggest one in Morocco. And the last main source is the industry agroalimentary. So please, I will translate uh, this information for the French people. Then I will talk about the program later in China. Alors, mesdames et messieurs, soyez bienvenus à Agadir. Mon financier est supporté pour cette discussion. Très nombreux marcheurs, c'est ce que j'ai. Donc, je souhaite une bonne année. Donc, on est Agadir. Alors, je vous donne quelques informations concernant cette ville. Agadir, c'est un nouvel qui est installé, fortifié, ou bien grenier collectif. 
avant de passer les mêmes bagues, et qui disent à gagner en pensant qu'il est marchand, qu'il s'est mis un peu ce qu'il y a dans le sens de ça, des gens qui sont situés à la terre, ils ont mis à gagner, et les agénières sont toujours situés dans un endroit très fortif, naturellement, par exemple, les sons des montagnes, tous les locaux qui savent les accès, mais les agénières et les villas sont toujours remplis des montagnes, c'est normal, car c'est le centre de valeur, on peut trouver des pichons pour pratiquer de l'agriculture, ou bien des sources pour périr.